Hi, it's Aaron Draws. Many of you are probably wondering, Aaron, why haven't you been posting for three months? Or, who are you and why did you end up on my feed? Well, I can answer one of those questions. I haven't been being lazy. I have been working on a short film called Honey Locust. And this isn't just a personal project, this is an entire production of which I was lucky enough to be visual effects director. The film is about a road trip between two unlikely people, Edith and Sonny, on their way to Honey Locust assisted living. On the way, they learn they don't have to go it alone. It's a really positive message that I am excited to bring to the screen. The production is finally in a state that I can announce it officially. And you can support the project right now on Indiegogo. Links should be somewhere on screen now and in the description. You can get cool perks and you can see behind the scenes footage. All donations will go directly to the production budget and will help me and the team make just a better film. But for right now, here's a sneak peek. My name is Brandon. I'm Austin. And I'm directing Honey Locust as well as creating music. And I'm the lead sound engineer and also helping with the music. I'm Heather, and I am the director of photography and screenwriter for Honey Locust. So my name is Jason Castanito, and I'm part of the sound editing and design department. Hi, I'm Aaron. Um, I am technical director and VFX lead for this project. Um, and my name is Lauren, and I'm the 3D artist, and I will be primarily in charge of set dressing. Both of us have done a handful of roughs. Um, some of which we've worked on together, some of which we've done individually, but pretty much both of us have focused on trying to make things that emulate the characters as best as possible, I would say. Yeah. Trying to find like a uniform sound design yeah. and like sonic aesthetic as well. Just producing in kind of a cinematic uh, form is sometimes a little bit different than just producing music in general. And so that's been something that we've had to dial in for the Absolutely. most, I think. I made this beat called San Andreas on uh, this drum machine that I got and it's super West Coast inspired. Um, it sounds like the loading screen and like a Grand Theft Auto game, which I thought was really cool. My personal favorite probably is Indigo. I think that that one's like probably the most, one of the more cinematic ones that I've made so far. Plus I got a little bit of bass work on there, which I don't do a whole lot of. So I like anytime I have a decent bass line, I like to, yeah. you know. I'm most excited, honestly, like, I mean, obviously I'm excited for music, but yeah. I'm also excited really to see how, like, uh, the visual effects kind of yeah. work into a film setting, because yeah. when I started this project, um, I didn't anticipate to have it be driven visually by as much visual, visual effects as we're using. Yeah, because um, I think we, everyone in the group really was trying to aim to not do something traditional in the sense of just yeah. like a typical film. And I mean, yeah, so far what we've seen with the VFX have been really, really good. So I'm, I'm excited to see where that, where we kind of take those things and how it all meshes together. Well, we're mainly in pre-production right now. So that's like discovering the look, how we want to do it. So we've been doing a lot of um, render tests just to try and figure out, you know, how's this going to look? How are we going to make it look real? Just anything to make it look as cool as possible <laughs> is our goal. Testing out some found textures to see, you know, what looks the most realistic. How can we place all of these items, all of these bushes in here to make it look as realistic uh, as possible. So when you look at the end product, you're not like, oh, this is a 3D render. You can be like, this looks realistic. This looks like the environment that we want it to look like. We have a shot where we're in front of like a hotel or a motel and um, we don't really have a location for that. So we decided early on that we were going to actually do that in 3D um, and design the motel, you know, from the ground up so that we can have full creative control over what it's going to look like and how that shot's going to look like. We want a lot of neon signs and all that just to make it look, you know, fabulous. We set up a green screen. We had one of the members on our team sit in front of it. Um, so we're seeing if we can create the motel we're going to have in the film in the background. Um, so what I'm excited about on this project is I'm really interested in both modeling and um, exploring like texture creation. Um, and that is a lot of what I'm going to be doing on here. Um, so I'm excited to see, you know, how realistic I can get these models and how realistic I can get these textures and kind of use some methods that I haven't used before. So I think it will be a lot of exploring um, and I think it will be really interesting to see this, this end product. 
I don't get much time to work on, with film people. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to work with um, a fantastic film crew to add my visual effects to, to make just a product that's better than anything that I could do by myself. So I'm very excited, whole, whole group dynamic that's been gonna go, go on here. As screenwriter, I've been writing some treatments and finished up the script recently. Um, and as director of photography, I'm lining and marking the script, making a shot list, gonna work with a storyboard artist and make sure we're all organized for production. My favorite part about writing is like naming things. I named it Honey Locust because in high school, I used to volunteer at a nursing home and one of the streets that I would pass was called Honey Locust to get there every day. And I always thought like, that's such a cool name for a street. And so when I was trying to think of a name for the home, that was the first thing I thought of. I hope that making this film is going to make me a better camera operator. I've already had to do some tests on my own to make sure that everything goes smoothly in starting in January. So I'm hoping that I just become more comfortable like messing with settings I've never touched before and like getting used to all of that. I'm excited to get on set and like a lot of the crew that we're working with have been people I've worked with before so I'm really excited to work with them again. I know they're all good and this is going to turn out great because of them. So I'm really excited to get into production. My job is to be part of the Foley department. So I'm gathering sounds and our visual effects department has created a render of a car crash scene. And within that scene, I'm working on creating sounds, not only that's within the car crash itself, but what's going on inside the car and outside the car. As far as right now, I'm currently working on gathering more sounds for our film. Uh, we're, about, we're about to start our uh, production phase. So as of right now, I'm recording audio for, for when it's time to apply that to the, to the film. So what I'm hoping to get out of this experience is to get, get the experience to be behind a movie production. Um, since I was a child, I always wanted to be part of a movie, whether it was you know, being part of the audio, the visuals, or behind a camera. And so my experience with that, that's what I'm hoping for. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is as excited as I am about this project, and I can't wait for it to be released. In the meantime, once again, please consider donating to the project on Indiegogo. The whole team and I would be so grateful for your support.